Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reeder with Future Pastimes and I'm one of the designers on the expansions for the classic Dune board game, the 2019 Gale Force 9 edition of the game. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Sand Trout. Now this is a special spice card that we included in the first expansion, the Ixians and Tlilaxu expansion, and it was designed to be the anti-Nexus card. So we're going to talk about what does Sand Trout do, how is it implemented, and why we designed it. Um, so, it, as you can see, is a spice card, so it's going to get dealt into the spice deck. Now, if you draw the sand trout on the first turn, just like any other sandworm card, it is going to be set aside, and you'll draw again until you get two territories, and you'll shuffle the set-aside cards back into the deck. But later on in the game, when you draw the sand trout, here is what happens. The first thing it does is it will cancel any existing alliances. So if you have had a nexus because of drawing Shai Halud earlier in the game and you've formed some alliances, drawing the Sand Trout will end those alliances quite suddenly and unexpectedly. Uh, and unlike a nexus where you can break alliances and then form new ones, with the Sand Trout, you're just breaking your alliances. You are not forming any new ones. Um, so... Cancel all current alliances. Then you're going to set this card aside and draw a replacement card. So it is set aside. It's not immediately discarded. You're going to set it aside um, because you are waiting to see what happens the next time a sandworm is drawn. So the next time Shai Hulud is drawn, either this turn or in a subsequent turn, it is discarded without effect. So if the next card is drawn, or let's say it's a couple of turns later, and you're having your Spice Blow and Nexus Phase, and you draw Shai Hulud, it is discarded without effect. That means that the Sandworm does not attack the last territory on the discard pile. Uh, it does not uh, allow the Fremen to ride the Worm, and it does not cause a Nexus. Discarded without effect. You will then draw another card, as you do with Shai Hulud. And so it says on here, on the Sand Trout, after discarded without effect, a new spice card is drawn, doubling any spice blow. So, this was in your discard pile. The next card that you drew is the Shai Halud. It has been canceled without effect. Then you draw again. If you get a territory card, you are going to double the spice blow. So, 20 spice into the Great Flat. Boom, that's a lot of spice. Um, but, let's say that you've drawn the Shai Halud. It's discarded without effect. The next card drawn is a Shai Halud. Well, now it's a normal sandworm. And if the next one you draw is a territory, you do not double the spice blow. So that only happens if you've canceled the card and the next card drawn is a territory. That's when you get the double. So if you get uh, sandworm and then sandworm, well now it's a normal sandworm. It will attack the last territory. So you kind of skip over that card. So here's where the worm appears. If there are Fremen there, they get to ride the worm. If there's other forces or spice there, it's devoured. And you draw again. And if it's a territory, when you've set aside this sand trout, it's doubled. Uh, otherwise, um, it is not if you have a couple more worms there in between. So that is what the sand trout does. It first and foremost will cancel any existing alliances. Then it potentially prevents you from forming alliances because it's going to cancel the next worm drawn. Um, now, when you're playing advanced rules and you got the double spice blows, um, you might end up having the sand trout drawn. You've got your territory there on the top. You draw a sand worm. That's canceled. You draw again. You've got a territory. If on spice blow two, you draw a worm, well, this is a normal worm, and uh, you are going to have a nexus after all this turn. So, it doesn't cancel the nexus for the whole turn. All it does is it cancels the next Shai Halud card that is drawn. Uh, after that, you just play normally. So, why did we do that? Well, we, um, first of all, anytime we're working on the, a Dune-themed game or expansion, uh, some of us, uh, definitely me, uh, re-immerse ourselves in the novel. So uh, I reread Dune, um, and if we're working on an expansion that's potentially going to involve other factions uh, or other things around that timeline of the first book, 
I'll read some of the other books, the prequel books, um, or the extended universe books. Um, and it, I'm reading them for details like people's names and uh, other interesting artifacts uh, or, or elements to add into the game. Um, but something from Dune lore is the sand trout. So it's part of the spice life cycle of the worm. And um, that's how you get your spice blows, actually, is with the sand trout. So we thought it would be interesting to in inject a little bit more Dune lore and thematics into the game. Uh, and the sand trout was an interesting um, detail to put in there. And we felt, well, obviously, it needs to go into the spice deck. And since it's not uh, the worm, it's on the other end of the worm life cycle. Uh, and because it's tied to the spice blows, <clears throat> we thought it would be interesting for there to be an anti-nexus where you are uh, not having alliances. Uh, and it is very dramatic when you when a sand trout shows up late in the game. Players have uh, they've made their alliances. They're getting ready to put things into position to go for the win. And then suddenly, boom! They are all on their own. Uh, and then you may have something like a 20 spice, um, or, you know, if you get the one in Seattle South, 24 spice. Get a lot of spice on that board. That can be a game changer as well. Suddenly, people are like, ah, maybe I'm not worried about going after Stronghold this turn. There's a lot of spice there. That could open up a lot of possibilities for me. So we think it's a very interesting and dramatic element. Um, and we love having it in the game. So I always include the Sand Trout whenever I'm playing. Let me know your thoughts. Have you played with Sand Trout? What do you think of the Sand Trout idea? Um, if you love it, definitely tell me all about it. If you hate it, I guess I want to hear that too. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, but um, uh, let's have all the opinions. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the Sand Trout. Do you use it? And uh, any interesting stories about how Sand Trout has shaken up the game for you. Um, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.